What is up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mug. You can get some really great stuff on Etsy. I've got these four figures. They are Mother Superior of St. Helena by Highland Miniatures, and you are not going to guess how much I paid for them. Ten bucks for these four figures. Mother Superior of St. Helena by Highland Miniatures. Ten bucks. That's like crazy to me. So let's take a look at the figures. You've got this one singing Ave Maria right there. Beautiful sculpt. A little bit of flash, but nothing that uh, going at it with your hobby knife won't cure. Love the detail on the beads and the, the cross there. Fantastic. She's, what is she standing on? Some steps. Going down some steps. And here we've got one. Looks like she's going to be holding up a hammer and a shield. A little bit of flash there. This is almost like plastic. This is like really close to the gray plastic that Games Workshop uses. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's resin, but it's a lot nicer than some of the other resin that I've gotten from Etsy. So this is a good vendor. I might save this one. Beautiful. Then you've got another one. It's identical. Looks like. Identical sculpts. Standing on rubble. Yep. Oops. And then the fourth one over here. Oh, so good. Hammer and a shield. Beautiful. Fantastic. Armor, the detail on the chains is just terrific. And that grim expression, oh, it's fantastic. So let's see what we get in uh, little extra bits. You can either equip them, yeah, with the sword. Is this a sword? Yeah, it's like a short sword. It's not a full sword. Uh, oh, this is cool. A ball and ch um, chain. What are those called? Flails. I can't remember. Ball and chain. My wife. And here's a mace. They're about to see what this mace would do. I don't know if you guys saw that. The Hitman's Bodyguard Part 2. The Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. There was this stupid, stupid part in the movie where they find themselves on a boat or I don't remember if it was on the boat or somewhere else, but they go into this weapon room to try and arm up, right? And they find this mace on the wall and Samuel Jackson says, now we're gonna see, they're gonna see what this mace will do. And it sounded like Mace Windu, right? That's the joke. Like he kind of mush mouths it. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. Like, I laughed so hard. <laughs> All right, and then a hammer. Hammer time. Beautiful. Like, I, I, I like the, the thick, the thick, <laughs> I can't even say it. <coughs> oh, geez. I should have done the uh, automated voice for this video. I am, I am uh, still pretty bad, but I like the, the thickness of the head of that hammer, like it is really like a solid shape. It looks like it's got weight to it. The, the fact that they did it in this like solid rectangle, like this block of iron, it's really, really nice. And then of course the two shields, I think they're identical, yeah. The chains. So you can really choose um, how you wanna arm your two uh, bodyguard girls here. I guess the only two you don't need to worry about are the uh, character and this uh, bodyguard with a big hammer there, but you could do like the flail and uh, I, I would, you know what? I would go with the hammer. I would go and I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know about the mace. It's the mace or the flail for me because this, the flail is such a great looking weapon. It's such a odd, unusual weapon that you don't see uh, too often. In, in games. So yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's be different. And then the classic classic way to go would be a nice stout hammer. Uh, a mace is fun. So, oh man. I'm not too sure. I, I think since, you know what? Since we've already got a hammer here, 
And look at that. Yeah, that's a huge hammer. That's great. Okay, so let's go with let's go with these two. I find like swords swords are are not are not uh, as interesting to look at. And for these women who are all like mostly using like blunt weapons, heavy heavy blunt weapons, I think I think this is the way it's going to do it. All right. So I'm going to uh, build up my last two guards and then we will uh, come back to it. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. If you have not seen the fiasco that was the <laughs> magic super glue accelerator video, let me tell you what happened. Let me give you a quick recap. These figures did not come with the correct arm or hand weapon pieces. There was one left hand weapon, which was this one, the flail. These other weapons are all made for the right hand, the mace, the sword, and the hammer. That meant that this poor lady did not have a left hand because these two shields were also right-handed. So I decided to build this one up as uh, normal with everything that came in the kit. But for this one, I had to get a little creative. I went digging into my disc box and I cannibalized uh, Empire State Trooper by cutting off the, the hand at the wrist and gluing it onto the wrist here. For that, I did use super glue and super glue activator, which uh, I will include a affiliate link down for that in the description. If you would like to purchase your super glue accelerator, it really is such a great product. And if you can sit through the uh, insanity of the last video where I actually try to demonstrate it and have to uh, do it in real time, then you'll see that when I actually glued the plastic to the resin, and used the super glue activator, it went on pretty quickly and I did not really end up uh, gluing my fingers together, which I would have if I did not have super glue activator. Then I used plastic glue because the hand is plastic and the greatsword is plastic to glue that giant blade onto the wrist. And I, I gotta admit, at this point, I was very frustrated. So when I saw this giant sword and I thought that is just ridiculous looking, I said to myself, why not? Why not at this point? But you get two guardians here, and uh, hopefully if you do decide to order this, they do come with the right amount of left hands. You get one of these like bigger bodyguards with a two-handed hammer. And uh, you get, I believe, is this Saint, Saint Helena? Mother, no, this is the Mother Superior. Climb every mountain. Okay, so guys and gals, I hope you've enjoyed this little video unboxing and putting together through the trials and tribulations the uh, Mother Superior of St. Helena by Highland Miniatures. I got it through Etsy again for $10. If you can, I would suggest um, getting them at that price. Four miniatures, that's only two bucks, 50 cents per miniature. It's a fantastic value. And like I said, I will be using these for the Heroes of Hobbiton mini game that is going to be coming out on my channel. If you would like to take part, all you have to do is be a patron of Warboss Taste Studios and you can choose either a male knight avatar to represent you in this game or one of these for uh, lovely battle sisters here. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Join the Discord, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Latest players.